The Woodneck Nail Drip Set by Hario brews coffee that is thick, focused, and incredibly sweet. We prefer a low yield, high concentration recipe that relies on slow controlled pours and lower temperature water to create a cup that is all about texture. So here's what you'll need. A Nell drip set, 50 grams of coffee, a scale, a wooden paddle, a thermometer, a towel, a kettle, and a grinder. So let's get to brewing. Start by heating water between 175 and 180 degrees. Making sure the seams are facing out, Pre-wet the nail and carafe with hot water. If this is the first time using the nail, you'll want to boil the cloth filter in water for about five minutes prior to using it. Next, take the nail filter, pinch the bottom with two fingers, and gently twist to wring out. Dry it a bit more by gently pressing it in a clean towel. Empty the carafe and reset the nail. It should be damp and slightly warm. Now, grind 50 grams of coffee. The grind should be quite coarse and feel gritty and sharp, about as coarse as what we use for a French press. Add the coffee to the nail in a loose mound, but make sure not to compress the grounds. Then, use a thin bamboo paddle or a similar tool and groom the coffee by gently sliding the paddle between the coffee and the nail. Push the paddle to the bottom and make a gentle sawing motion all the way around the circumference. Then, mold the grounds into a point, shaping them gently with the side of the paddle. Then make a small indentation on the top of the grounds, approximately the size of a nickel and the depth of a thumbtack. Now tear the scale, start a timer, and begin the first pour by drizzling water around the circumference of the indentation. You want to pour about 50 grams of water over 30 seconds. Don't worry about saturating all the coffee. Time and capillary action will take care of that. The coffee should look active and churning upwards. After pausing for 30 seconds, begin the second pour and bring the water up to 160 grams. Use a pour pattern that spirals out and back in multiple times, evenly covering the surface, but not getting too close to the edge. This should take about 30 seconds meaning that the flow rate for the second pour is a bit faster than the first. After pausing for 30 seconds, begin the third and final pour. Use the same pattern and a slightly faster flow rate to bring the water up to 280 grams. This too should take about 30 seconds. After the water is finished dripping through the nail, serve in a preheated mug and enjoy. Happy brewing. Thank you.